is in fashion. There's a term for white fascination with black culture that can help us better understand Get Out, negrophilia. The term emerged in 1920s Paris to describe the craze for black culture amongst the hipsters of the day. Writer Patrine Archer Straw writes that for these young Parisians, blackness was a sign of modernity. It's such a privilege to be able to experience another person's culture. You know what I'm saying? But this had a problematic flip side. Black personalities were either lionized or demonized in a matter that denied normality. In other words, they could never be, you know, actual people, and instead existed as one of two stereotypes, brilliant artists or uncultured animals. Throughout the film, we see both sides of this. Chris is celebrated for his cultural background, yet as the creepy brother reminds us, If you really pushed your body, you'd be a fucking beast. To paraphrase Archer Straw, in both cases, it's the white perspective that decides how black people are defined. And this negrophilia isn't just confined to the desire for black culture. It can be the desire for the black body itself, both sexually... So, is it true? Is it better? Well, and athletically. So, Chris, what's your sport? And while you might be tempted to think, is it so bad to be desired because you're sexy and strong? Well, the answer is, yeah. Negrophilia isn't about truly understanding black people and their culture. It's about using them to satisfy your own desires. This is not understanding humans, it's collecting them. 